Right now, we see you're wearing a Grammy hat. Yes. And we noticed that you have a no on No hate. hate. So yes. tell us on, about, about the Grammy hat. How oh, I mean, yeah, I'm just wearing it because it's a cool gray. But um, we did the, a show with the Beat Freaks at the Grammy Foundation. Um, which was uh, about hip hop and the history. The great thing about the Grammy Foundation is it makes sure that the history and the legacy is being passed on to the future generation. So you don't just like the music, you understand where it comes from. Uh, the pioneers, why is this like this? Why, you know, and not in other ways. And this year it was, uh, hip hop was at the honor. So we get to be on stage with, share the stage with uh, Naughty by Nature, MC Light, uh, Arrested Development. It was just, it was just amazing. Wow, did that blow you away? Thinking these are like the, the pioneers. Yeah. Like the big, big fans of hip hop. It's, it's amazing, and to know that I grew up listening to these people, and to one day share the stage, the stage on with them in America. I would be like, no way, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> so, and then that was in the gifting little bags, and uh, that was a cute little oh, beret. Nice. So. I rock so, it from there and there. There you go. So speaking of no way, you're, you're, we see no on hate. So we we know that no on hate that usually they have like a uh, photo session. Is that what you did? Today? Yes, actually, yeah. That? I didn't take it out. I kept rapping all day. Uh, this morning with Beat Freaks, we actually did the no hate com campaign. Mm -hmm. So we did a photo shoot because you know it, it's about discrimination. So it's just against discrimination of any kind, race, religion, you know, um, sexual orientation, um, gender, you know, it's, you know, there's no need, you know, it's ignorance mostly. So we're just trying to do our little part by doing a cute little photo shoot and hoping to change things. Yeah. Now, getting more in depth, tell us what something, something that you can reveal that's a secret that is something special about Maris from Paris? A secret? A secret that you know that... That nobody would know? But you wouldn't mind letting people know. Hmm. If it's your secret. Like you sleep with a teddy bear. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I have... That's a good one. Actually, I have a little travel mascot with me all the time. If I... Like, wherever I went, that little thing went with me. It was my parents' first... Christmas gift ever. I was six months and it's a munchichi. Um, so it's a little munchichi that has a little nightgown that says my last name on it because <laughs> my mom didn't want people to steal it. So, and, it, and the munchichi goes everywhere with me. It went to Australia, New Zealand, Vegas, like it, it doesn't matter. As long as I just go somewhere, it, it comes with me. And so my mom freaks out if she knows I forgot it somewhere. If that's I, what I was going to say. What would happen if you don't, if you lost it? <gasps> well, I thought, <laughs> I had forgotten Knock it. <laughs> I had, no, I had forgotten it. Usually if I lose it, it's probably at a hotel room because I didn't pack it. Or somebody steals my bag with it in it. And, um, I, ha I have forgotten it in a hotel room in the, in the south of France. And I realized it probably two weeks later. And I called, like I freaked out, I called the hotel and they had kept it and they sent it back. I was like, please FedEx it back, like do, you know, and they, they sent it back to me. So he did a little trip without me. Oh, yeah, my mom, she, I was like, yeah, I don't travel without you. Why are you <laughs> traveling without me, <laughs> you know?